here today and I am going to be doing a demo with um, one of the extensions of our team in Reduve Aesthetics, Valerie Carlson, one of our nurse practitioners. Um, she's here today with me with one of our awesome models and we are going to be doing some Dysport injections. So I'm going to flip the camera over to her, you guys can say hi to her and then we'll um, get started with that. So I'm Valerie. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here. We have our lovely model today. Um, she is relatively young for someone that you would think that would be having um, treatments for wrinkles. She doesn't look like she has wrinkles, but what we're doing for her today is actually prevention. She has had treatments in the past and she has really liked the effects of them. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I wanna demonstrate how your muscles work and where we want to treat. So what area do you wanna have treated? I'm looking at having most of my forehead done and then around my eyes, and I do have a very strong muscle kinda of right in between my unibrow area. Mm -hmm, that we call 11s for obvious reasons. So first, um, frown for me so we can see that muscle there. We're going to be injecting that muscle so it relaxes because what will happen as she ages is that uh, that those lines may become permanent and that's what we don't want to have with the aging process. Um, so yes, you could clearly see how those muscles work. Can you do that again? <laughs> she does that so well. <laughs> she does. <laughs> And then she mentioned around her eyes. So now as she's laughing, <laughs> you can see that she has these, these lines and, and they're, they're really not a bad thing. I mean, they're laugh lines, they're good mm -hmm. things. But again, over time, they can become permanent wrinkles. So when we treat those lines and soften them, then she can smile without a frozen face, but then without creating those lines in the skin over and over and over. And then lastly, raise your eyebrows for me. So here, she has a very strong pull upwards. This is the frontalis muscle, the forehead muscle. So we are going to be treating in these areas to reduce that pull up. That doesn't mean she can't, she'll be like stuck frozen with a funny expression. It just means that she won't be using those muscles so strongly and uh, creating permanent marks on the forehead there. So Val, that's actually a really good question. Something that we get asked a lot during our skin consultations is, if I have a treatment like Dysport or Botox, mm -hmm. does that mean that I'm not gonna be able to move my face? I don't wanna look like you know a frozen Hollywood celebrity mm -hmm. and look really crazy. Well, it's definitely a patient preference on how much or little that we use for effect. Um, no, Marta will still be able to, to smile, express, um, but when she raises her eyebrows, she won't have the lines above those eyebrows. When she smiles, there won't be the lines uh, at the corners of her eyes. And if she's concentrating on something, that won't be the, the deep muscle in there. It'll just be nice, smooth skin. Okay, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Another question that I get with this a lot is, how often should we have something like this done? Typically, effects will last for about three months, but it's very individualized. So for some people, they use that product up and they actually have to come in a little bit more often. Other people don't have to come in very often at all. It might be maybe four months or even six months. Um, but if you get treated on a regular basis, if you make it every three months, we tend to use less and less product over time. That, that you just don't need as much product. Okay, mm -hmm. now I know that we're talking about Dysport today yes. as an alternative to Botox. Can yeah. you explain to me what the difference between the two of those is? Uh, yeah, I sure can. So Botox has been used in the United States for, for I think a couple, different, a couple decades, a long time. Um, Dysport has actually been used as long, but mostly in Europe first, Canada, and then um, now in the United States very heavily in the last few years. So it's the same type of neurotoxin where it um, blocks the ability for the nerve to stimulate the muscle to move. Um, but it's packaged slightly differently in the composition of it. So typically for Botox, we will use less units. Um, for Dysport, we will use more, but it generally costs less. 
And for Dysport, uh, for some people, they like the effects of it better. For some people, um, they're able to maintain movements with their face a little bit better or less heavy feeling. There are a few people that like Botox better too. So it's definitely an individual okay. choice. And I've heard that Dysport kicks in a little bit faster than Botox. Yes, it can. And again, that's individual. So typically within three to five days, we would expect full effect for the Dysport. Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Marta, do you have any questions before we get started? Uh, is there anything very specific that I can't do for the next couple hours? That's a great question because uh, we want where I inject that uh, the product, we want it to stay right in that injection area. So typically we don't want you to do excessive amounts of sweating. So no sauna or excessive workouts after. We don't want you to be like face down in a massage chair or gardening or something because if that toxin travels a little bit into a different area, you could have a little bit of an eye droop, eyebrow droop, etc. We don't want that to happen. We want it to stay exactly where I put it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it for my question. She covered basically everything else. <laughs> okay. I <needed> to know. <laughs> sure. Sure. So I think the other two really big questions that I always get yeah. with this is, is this painful, mm -hmm. and am I going to bruise afterwards? Oh, those are great questions. So pain is very minimal. It just feels like a tiny little, um, um, kind of like a tiny little sting. I've had it myself too in the past, so um, you can feel the needle going in, but it's not overly painful. It's not something that we have to pre-treat with numbing cream or anything like that. The discomfort lasts maybe only for a, a couple minutes after I inject and it gets better. Sometimes people will feel a little bit fullness of where I'm injecting um, and the little red um, dots of where the product goes, goes away in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. And then bruising, some people do bruise. Some people um, bleed a little bit easier. If you know you're one of those people, try and avoid um, um, ibuprofen, aspirin, alcohol, and, and um, other types of things, fish oil maybe, um, a day or two before your treatments to minimize that. Awesome, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is clean your skin. We want to make sure that it's nice and clean and um, uh, when the needles are going through your skin that we're not promoting any area of uh, possible infection. And I'm going to do a couple passes on, on cleaning the skin for you. Mm -hmm. So part of the injection process is knowing how the muscles in your face works. And it is pretty fascinating. Um, the 11s right between your eyebrows there, they're designed to pull those eyebrows together. Um, the, the forehead muscles are designed to lift. The eye around the eyes are actually more of a circular muscle, so they contract in a smaller circle. So knowing that um, helps us to figure out where we want to put the product and how much. Again, um, the amount of product that I use will depend on the strength of the muscle, sometimes the age, um, when our last treatments were, etc. So I always like to start right in the center. So I'm gonna be starting here. Can you turn your head a little bit like that? Uh, right here in the center in this muscle. Inject a little bit there. See, she's doing very well. And um, right here. Sometimes, depending on the person, I'll actually um, put a little bit more towards the tail end of these muscles if needed, but we've done her before, and um, this uh, arrangement of what I just did worked really well. Once in a while, we'll get a, just a little bit of um, spot of, of blood now and then, that's normal. And then we're gonna treat um, her forehead. So if you remember, she had that pattern of muscle kind of like this, so that's how I'm going to actually do the injection. So first one will be over here. And 
And then the second one will be fairly up high. Two reasons. Um, number one, her muscle goes up there, but secondly, when we're directly above the eye, we want to prevent that eye droop, so we don't want to get too close. So a question for our model. You've had this done before. Mm -hmm. What do you like about the results? For me, I've always had a lot of sinus issues, and I've noticed that anytime I've had to sport done, it significantly helps kind of clear my sinuses up. I'm able to breathe a lot better, especially around allergy season. Um, the other thing too is, again, like she said, kind of as a preventative, you know, I'm kind of big into skincare and making sure my skin's nice and healthy, and I want to make sure that I continue educating myself and giving myself the best possible skin I can. Mm -hmm. So the, the, what you mentioned about the sinus, it's interesting because some people will find benefit of less migraines and headaches. We're doing cosmetic treatment. So what I'm doing today isn't designed to treat medical conditions, but sometimes those get benefited as well mm -hmm. during the treatment process. Okay, so now we're gonna go on this side of your forehead. And it's amazing. It just takes a, just a very little amount of, of a product for it to work. So. There we go. Okay. So Val, you mentioned treating other medical conditions with mm -hmm. Dysport or Botox, and that's actually something else that we do here at Rejuve Medical, not in our aesthetics department, but these products can be used to treat migraines mm -hmm. and even excessive sweating. Right. In certain areas. Definitely. Um, those products are really um, Botox based because they have been uh, clinically studied for, for um, something called hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating, especially under the armpits, and then um, um, for migraines. Um, I don't do the migraine treatment. Uh, uh, some of our doctors on staff will do that for you. Um, and it is very effective. I do do the hyperhidrosis under the armpits and that also is very effective. Oftentimes that lasts about the same time range, about every three months, so when we'll need a touch up of that. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And then we're gonna treat um, here. So smile for me one more time, okay, and then relax. So her strongest pull is right about here. This is an area that sometimes we actually will have a little bit more bruising because the veins are closer to the surface here. Um, I try and avoid that as much as possible, but sometimes that happens. And a little poke right here. So I'm going in this pattern because remember that this muscle um, contracts like that. And then we're going to do on the other side here. If you want to turn your head towards me. Great, so poke. And poke. And poke. So um, uh, when I've treated someone before, we have a really good idea of how well it worked last time. Do we need to make any adjustments? A little more, a little less, depending on um, the person. Um, if it's the first time, I tell people that next week maybe we need to come back and maybe we need to add a few units here or there um, as we get to know, know your, your skin. So anything, any other questions, comments? Not that I can think of offhand. Um, to our model, is there anything else that you can think of right away? No, but I do want to add that even just with that treatment, I can tell that with my sinuses, they're already starting to drain and clear up, mm -hmm. just like that. And you can see um, on her skin that there's just small little red dots, and um, in about 10 minutes, you can put makeup on. You won't even be able to tell that you were here. Oftentimes, I have people <laughs> sneaking in on their lunch hour all the time, and they're like, okay, just put a little in quick, and then, you know, they leave, and next week, um, they'll... It'll be, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, that sounds great. 
So for those of you watching, if you have additional questions about Dysport injections or any of our other injectable services that we do offer, we would love to sit down with you and um, just visit with you during a free skin consultation. Those can be scheduled through our patient care coordinators at our front desk at 320-217-8480 or you can email aesthetics, that's E-S-T-H-E, ICS at rejuvemedical.com. That's a little uh, a difficult one today. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.